All right, let's see if we can pick this toad up. Some heavy oak. I keep it level so I can get it into the bed of the trailer. Oh man, that is it. I can't even reach the bed of the trailer at that height. Let me see how high that is. Right at two feet. Just not enough lift capacity. Welcome back to the channel everyone. You're watching Old Guy Firewood. My name is Dick and uh, you know if you've got a Kubota or John Deere tractor, um, compact tractor this size, this class, uh, one of the major complaints uh, we have is that the load lift capacity just isn't what it needs to be. Uh, if you look at um, Coyote, Mahindra, uh, TYM, uh, several of the other brands, uh, and you look at a, a, even a 25 horse tractor, they'll have lift capacities of 1,700, 2,000 pounds and so on. And um, my Kubota L3400, which is an older tractor, I've had it for about probably 15 years, but it's a 34 horsepower tractor and um, the rated lift capacity of this LA463 loader is somewhere around between 1,000 and 1,100 pounds. And it's just not enough to lift some of these heavy totes. And uh, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm not in a position where I want to buy a new tractor at this point in my life. Uh, the tractor does everything else that I need it to do. And if I'm dealing with smaller totes, I can probably get by. But um, I really wish I had a little bit more lift capacity. And I was watching uh, Jake at Dude Ranch DIY a few months ago, and he did a, a video on increasing the loader lift capacity on his Kubota. And uh, so I checked into that, and I talked to uh, Kevin at uh, Hydros Plus, and um, I talked to him about what I had, and he was very familiar with this tractor. He actually had had an L2800, which is just a, the same tractor, only 28 horsepower years ago. And... Um, he said he, he felt I could get probably a, a fairly good increase in lift capacity by going with the Hydra uh, Plus cylinders. So uh, that's what we're going to take a look at today. Uh, we're going to put them on. We're going to see if we can lift this tote any higher than we could with the original. And uh, it's going to be a fun experiment. So come along for the ride. All right, this is the cylinder we're going to be replacing one on each side, the hydraulic lift cylinder for the loader. And one of the things I want to mention before I even get into to doing this upgrade is that if you do this and if you exceed the lift capacity that Kubota recommends for this tractor, you're probably going to avoid your warranty. Uh, that's not a concern for me because my tractor is way out of warranty. Um, but the other thing is that uh, I have no concern myself about this tractor being able to um, to stand that higher lift capacity. First of all, the axle in this thing is, is built like a tank. Uh, Kubota has tractors that have greater lift, lift capacity that have um, the same axle or maybe even some of the newer models a little bit, um, a little bit less beefy axle. So, uh, it, it, you know, when you, when you do this, it might not be something you want to be lifting all day, eight hours a day, but for the occasional tote to dump into the dump trailer, uh, or for occasional log that you want to pick up to bring over to buck uh, by the splitter, I, I think it'll be perfectly fine. And if you think about it, you're not really lifting any more weight than the machine can already lift. Uh, as I showed a, a minute ago, this machine will lift that weight 24 inches high. Uh, all you're doing is in increasing the uh, hydraulic pressure uh, or the hydraulic cylinder capacity so that you're lifting that same weight up in a vertical plane. And while it might get a little bit closer to the front of the tractor, which would put a little bit more weight on the axle, you aren't really increasing uh, the stress on the front axle by increasing your lift capacity in this amount. So um, again, if you do it, uh, be aware of your warranty and um, do it at your own risk. If you're not comfortable with it, then it's not something you should do. I have absolutely no problem with it, and hopefully it'll give us some of the lift capacity that I'm looking for. So uh, let's go ahead and, and take this cylinder off, 
put the new one on and do the same to the other side and we'll see how it works. Okay, I've got everything out here that we need uh, to do this. I got the cylinders, uh, various wrenches and and so on. And uh, what do we have to do to remove this cylinder? Let me give you a look in here. We have to remove this keeper bolt here so we can drive this pin out. And same thing up here. Need to take this bolt, this keeper bolt out so we can drive this pin out. Need to remove this hose. Remove this hose. And uh, then we'll be able to take the cylinder out, put the new one in, put the pins back in, the keeper bolts both ends and reconnect the hydraulic lines and then repeat on the other side. This tie strap there which holds the hose up against the cylinder. I believe these are seven eighths. Yeah. off. Second hose off. I'm getting a little bit of leakage out of that cylinder. That's to be expected. Can't help it. We'll top it off if we need to. Keeper bolts are 10 millimeter. Hopefully these pins will come out with too much trouble. cylinders out. Okay, we got the new cylinder ready to put in. Get these pins in first. There's the other. Get these keeper bolts put back in on the pins. All right, got those locked in. Hook the hoses back up now.
All right, one side done. All right, I'm not going to bore you with going through the whole install on the other side. Um, I'll go ahead and do that, grease these pins up, and we'll see how it works. We had a little bit of a rain delay um, since I put that first cylinder on, but uh, that's passed. Uh, things have dried up, and I've got the second cylinder on. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and attempt to pick up this same basket full of um, pretty much green oak, and uh, we'll see if it makes any difference with the new um, with the new cylinders attached. So uh, let's give it a try. two feet. Let me get the tape and we'll, we'll see what we got here now. <laughs> Five feet, ten inches. That's pretty amazing. In the past, I was able to get it up just about two feet, which would allow me to get the front lip of the tote uh, on the bed of my trailer from the back and then begin to tip it. And as the wood would fall out and the load would lighten a little bit, I could lift up and dump and then push it in and I could do the, do the same with the second tote. But um, once, once that happened, I couldn't lift anything up high enough to dump on top of the wood that I already had in there. Um, now I'll be able to actually load over the side of the trailer and dump on top of uh, the two totes that I've already put in there. Amazing, amazing difference. Well, folks, those are pretty amazing results. I'm, I'm really, really happy uh, with the results. As I said, the lift capacity seems to be more of a problem in this size tractor with the John Deere and Kubota models. And, um, I'm not actually lifting anything more than I could lift before, but I'm able to lift it a lot higher. And uh, uh, so weight-wise, I'm not putting any more weight on the front of the tractor, but the additional capacity uh, of the cylinders is allowing me to get a higher lift. And now I'll be able to dump, as I said, over the side of my trailer, uh, from the back of the trailer on top of wood that's already in there. And uh, it's going to save me a tremendous amount of time. I want to mention I have absolutely no um, affiliation. Uh, this this uh, video is not sponsored by um, Hydros Plus. Um, I ordered and paid for these cylinders, and uh, after talking to Kevin at Hydros Plus, I, I felt like it would give me some additional um, height capacity, lift capacity, and it certainly has. So I'll leave a uh, description, or not a description, but a, a link in the description to Hydros Plus and uh, Kevin and, and his phone number. And, um, and if, you're, if you're in a situation like I was, if you're a little bit unhappy with the lift capacity uh, of your tractor, I'd certainly recommend you get in touch with him and check these cylinders out because it make a world of difference for me. And um, I'm just tickled pink. But at any rate, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that like button. That really helps my channel. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I think that's doable. I'm around, oh, 8,600, a little bit more right now. And um, click that little bell icon so that you'll be notified when I put out some new videos. But um, 
as I always say, uh, until the next video, best advice I can give you is to keep moving. And keep moving, and we'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching.